All right, you guys, we wanted to give you a, uh, want to give you an update here as we're going through the process of building. Uh, we told you on the last video how important it was to sketch out what was already here. So, you know, if, if it's already in play and you're tearing something out, it's just a great idea to go ahead and sketch what's there. It's really going to help you uh, if it goes back in the same place. If uh, in our in our condition here, we are actually growing to make all this inner space here on the inside of the bar bigger. So it all stems back to your design, uh, what you all have going on. But for us, uh, the homeowner, we actually needed to grow some to give more room back here, considering the other uh, <clears throat> sink area, cabinetry area back here. We've got an upper top that's going to go the entire distance. We already have it marked here where the top is going to stop because this is going to be something different here at the end. We're going to be able to install a uh, cool little either a freezer up here or one of his fridge. One of his fridges will be up there. We've got a double refrigerator going in here. So, you know, at any point we can take the electric that's already been roughed in and we can bring that through the framework before we start closing everything up. But we wanted to share with you a couple of things. You can see that we've got squares in our corner here. We actually had a laser pointing down this entire thing to make sure we were super square and on point. And I want to show you right here at the break, all these long ones here are constant. So don't, don't go eight footers and put two together. You're, you're just going to weaken the structure at that point. Make it a constant run. Where these two intersect, the difference... We needed this two by four over here. We're gonna be, after this gets going, the pony wall actually gets built. We're going to jump off that, a secondary um, wall, if you will, that's gonna be out this way uh, to give them storage over here on this side. Um, it had to be a two by four framework because two by six plus an additional two by six, the depth that we needed in the cabinet all that played a role into how far out it can come because of that other cabinet, uh, cabinetry stuff, the sink and all that that's going to go in here. Our room is a little limited up here on the wall, so we wanted to shorten that but keep it super strong in the same breath. So everything's squared up. It's all laser fit. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start framing up everything from here to enclose all this. Um, these are super cool. Everybody knows about them, knows what they are. So, um, you know, based on your dimensions and all that, they sell smaller ones. Uh, but the quarter inch angle iron is definitely the way to go. These are going to, as these walls shoot up here, we're going to strengthen these guys several different ways. So hitting the two by six framework and then underneath of our actual top plate here, that the countertop is going to come in and rest. We're going to have several of these in place. We're going to have them down here as well, guiding those up just to make all this super strong. Another thing I want to point out to you, what we were able to do, um, we used, instead of using a gun, uh, we've got one of those as well to blow the nails through. We wanted this to be screwed. We wanted it to grip very tight. So we went in here with a Bosch hammer drill uh, piloted out these holes and we set top Tapcon screws down in here. Uh, the Tapcon screws were four inches to allow for the inch and a half thickness of the board. And then we're about two and a half inches deep into the concrete. So every one of these were set down, screwed, flush. And I want you to pay attention to down here where these two intersect. Matter of fact, every intersection that we have, once this was shot down, once this was shot down, we went in at an angle um, and pre-drilled and we sent two two and a half inch screws into the cross plates so that it just gives extra support down here. If this Tapcon screw ever got loose for whatever reason, it's got the additional strength here tied to this so it just makes it stronger right where they meet. So we did that to every turn. And uh, that's where we're at right now. Um, we're kind of using this sketch also in the same breath to get the measurements because we, we have a top bar top 
then go all the way. Then we actually have about eight inches down, we have a secondary lower bar top that is gonna come out past the overhang of the upper bar top. So whoever's back here making drinks, uh, getting some food together, they're gonna have almost 14 inches of countertop space to work on. And the fact that the upper bar top hangs over close enough for the people back here to reach, as they start making stuff, they can easily set it right up on the counter. Then they make this, set this up on the counter. So you can be a good host to, you know, whoever's sitting on the outside, uh, you know, really cool. So it's, it's really thought out, planned out well. Uh, a lot of measurements, a lot of figuring goes into this type of stuff. But so far, so good. We just wanted to show you all where we were at. This is the most important step of building this because the stronger these base plates are, the stronger everything that we build up from now to complete all this is going to be. And then any weak points like that along the way because of being up in the air is where we're going to make a bunch of ties with angle irons and things of that nature and uh, some extra blocking. So uh, we will keep you tuned in. Don't go nowhere. We'll be right back. Uh, we're going to start getting all this built and we'll bring you back in and show you what's going on. All right, you guys. So look, check it out. I know that beep, that constant beep is annoying, but that constant beep tells us when we're not actually sitting here actively looking at the digital level. We've got a six and a half footer running from plate to plate. We've got a four footer on top. Um, we're just making sure this is gonna be a constant all the way to the end down here. We wanted to show you a couple of things and how we go about this for strength, for everything else. So, these are the first two we set in and we went in the middle of the span here. We're going to jump from here the rest of the way to get that level pitch that you're hearing. Uh, there will not be a break in the top plate at all to be super strong, but we had this positioned in here. It is plumb. We clamped it down here on purpose to get that exactly where we want it. We went ahead and pre-drilled two holes, sent two and a half inch exterior screws down in there to grab. Now we don't have to sit here and toenail this guy and get our board to tweak, to shift, to move. Now we're gonna come right in from the side and screw right to this so that none of this moves. Then we're going to add in our third one down here Set the top plate to all of it. We already know the top plate's going to be level because two levels said so. Then we're going to be able to come back and fill these in just like we're doing right here. And we're going to put blocks in between to make everything super strong top and bottom. We'll bring you back and show you when we get to that point. We just wanted you to see on the front side how we go about this. There's a million different ways you can go about this. This is just the way we do it. Makes everything completely as perfect as we can humanly get it for this bar top to be installed.